Hey, what's going on guys? Austin here. In this one, I want to show you a few EQ moves you can do on the snare drum to get a little more smack and a little more crack out of it. And I don't mean drugs, I mean sound-wise, all right? So I've already got the snare drum soloed up here. Let's go ahead and listen to what it sounds like without any EQ. Okay, needs a little bit of work. So I'm gonna pull up the channel EQ and logic here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna filter out a lot of the low end up until about 150 or so. And I'm going to accentuate a little bit of the body in this snare, which usually sits around that 200, that 200 hertz range. So let's see what we got there. Right about there. So I'm going to pull up about two and a half dB there, and I'm cutting everything below that. The next thing I want to do is I want to find this ring that's in the snare. That sounds kind of annoying. Listen for that ring. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a pretty steep cue here and I'm going to filter around until I can find this ring can you hear that there around 570 580 So I'm going to pull down quite a bit right there. So I'm going to invert that, take that down, pull that back down. All right, so I'm going to pull out about 10 dB there, widen that cue a little bit. So let's hear what that's doing to it. So I've pulled down quite a bit of that ring, kind of focused up this snare drum a lot more. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a little bit of this smack, which is usually in this 2 to 3K range, usually around 2,500. So let's see what we got there. Right about there. So I'm going to pull up about 3 dB there with a fairly wide Q. So let's see what that's doing to it. All right. And the last move I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to find some of this high-end crack in the snare here, and that's usually around this eight to nine K range. So let's see what we got there. Right about there. So I'm gonna pull that up about four and a half DB with a pretty wide Q. Pull down that super high end just a little bit there. So let's hear what that's doing to it. All right, cool. Let's hear that in context with the mix.
So now that snare has a lot more body, it has more smack, it has more crack in it. We've pulled down that ring quite a bit, so now it's sitting in the mix quite nicely. All right, so try out some of those EQ moves on your snare drum and see what kind of results you get from it. I think you'll be pretty pleased with what you can achieve there. If you want to learn more about how to mix drums, definitely check out my full drum mixing masterclass. It's a really in-depth course where I take you through this entire mixing session and show you everything I do to achieve a pretty clean, modern sound. You can access that from the links below or just head over to abbdrums.com. But other than that, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.